What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You may be redoing a room in your house, ending up with a lot of junk. And if you're renting a dumpster, stop and listen to what I have to say next. All right, guys. So listen, hey, I did a little home uh, project. It wasn't a full remodel or anything, but regardless of what you're doing, maybe it's just uh, spring cleaning, cleaning out your attic, uh, throwing out of bed, whatever, and you're ending up with a lot of junk. I want to tell you my little story here because I learned a lot and I think I have some good ideas for you. So first of all, I think your mind when you uh, are jumping to a home remodel project or something that's going to create a lot of waste is renting a dumpster. And I looked into that and dumpsters come in 20, 30, 40 yard standard. They're kind of called roll offs. I, I did some uh, uh, price requests from it. And the problem with it is it's like $350 to $400 for even a 20 yard dumpster. And there's a, two problems with that. One, it's really expensive. On top of that, they charge you some fees and things for like dropping it off and picking it up. But then the biggest one is that for most of us, just kind of our everyday uh, typical projects, that is way too much space, way too much. A 20 yard dumpster is pretty huge. Now I was creating a lot of junk. You know, in fact, when I was kind of redoing the bathroom, we were pulling out old vanities, the mirror, uh, there were some built-in shelves that was all getting torn down. Um, I, I threw in some other stuff. I had an old desk that I wanted to get, a, get rid of and all that jazz too. And so what I was looking at is something called the bagster. So waste management has this kind of big nylon bag. You, you can buy it and then uh, waste management will come pick it up. And now the problem with this is the bag itself, the bagster is like 30 bucks. You actually have to buy this bag. It's not that deep. It ends up only being, I don't know, two or three feet deep. And so if you're ripping out something that's big, kind of voluminous, like a vanity or a desk or something, it might not actually even fit in it, right? It's going to maybe stick out too high. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's about three cubic yards of waste. And so the price on that is like $186, depending on where you live. You know, this, I live in a, the Chicago suburbs, so I think this is actually a pretty uh, fair price. Probably a pretty typical price. If you live way out of their service area, it might be more, but, uh, all in on that, you're at like 220 ish dollars, you know, for the bag and the service on that. Uh, and again, I wasn't even sure that the bagster was actually going to be enough. So what I ended up doing is calling around uh, some of these places, like these junk places, and there's a number of them, you know, they have junk in their title. And I called it around and uh, even took some pictures and uploaded pictures. And what ended up happening was a guy came by in the evening and just gave me basically an estimate. And in fact, because of what I did, and I think I'm pretty typical, you know, with the vanity, uh, the mirror and all this other wood junk and stuff like this, it kind of filled up maybe one parking spot worth of stuff. And he was like, oh shoot, I should have brought one of the pickups because I could have gotten this stuff out of here tonight. I, you know, I thought there would be more of it. Um, so he gave me a quote for $120. And in fact, came back the next day with a truck, um, kind of not, not just a pickup truck, but kind of one of these, um, kind of like panel. Uh, it's almost, it looked like a uh, a box truck, but without the top, it just had big sides. And, uh, you know, he had like two younger guys with him, high school, college age, maybe. And man, in a matter of minutes, they, they just got everything in the truck. They actually even swept up afterwards. I paid them the 120. And so it was just one, it was super easy because I could just stack things up. They came you know, he quoted me the same day that um, I requested the quote and in fact would have taken it that night had he um, known that it was going to be a, a, that size. But then secondly, it saved me like $100 over the bagster, which was three cubic yards. And I don't know that that would have been enough. And it saved me a ton of money, hundreds of dollars over getting a dumpster. So what I would recommend is if you're doing kind of your standard construction, household cleaning, appliance uh, dumping, whatever it might be, and you need some big quantity junk removed, I would definitely try out some of these junk services. Now, I am going to put in the description below uh, an affiliate link to, uh, I think, 1-800 uh, junk services so that you can get a free quote. You know, check them out, see what they'll they'll provide for you. Feel free to uh, reach out to junk services in your neighborhood. But for me, I was just really impressed with how quickly it went. Uh, I didn't need any equipment and they cleaned up after themselves, right? I mean, uh, in retrospect, I wish I had actually a little cash on me to tip these guys because they just worked hard and they were super pleasant um, and everything went swimmingly. So really happy that that service was available. My guess is that they probably subsidized it by taking like the metal out and scrapping the metal for money and and whatnot, but uh, whatever, it was out of my hair. So that's my recommendation. Don't get a dumpster if you don't have to. Uh, Check out the bagster from Waste Management if you want, but I, I think even 
uh, over that, you're going to save some money. So that's my story and my recommendation. Peter Von Panda, out!